Did you know that more than $3.5 billion was lost to cybercrime globally in 2019? And it's increasing day by day, especially at this time where this COVID-19 situation is happening. More and more vulnerabilities, more and more threats are happening, exploiting all those things. Welcome to this uh, session where we will be discussing about uh, threat and vulnerability management. Let's get started. So we have discussed on our last video about onboarding and then policies of different ATP and let's look at the, the first piece of the threat and vulnerability management this time. It's basically a risk approach, risk based approach to vulnerability management where it continuously discovers the devices for any known vulnerabilities and then uses a risk based prioritization and then use the remedi built in remediation techniques. So let's look at our Defender ATP. I have onboarded my machine as we have seen last time. I have a machine here. We'll be using this IT02 machine. So just for the demo, I've installed some old versions of software to just to see how the TVM works and how we can make use the most out of this TVM module to protect our environment. So if you look at the security recommendations part, you will see the types of software is installed and then any updates that's been asked. So you can see here, I have a few softwares like Mozilla Firefox, which is an old version, VLC Media Player, Irfan View. Recent news, VLC Media Player has a vulnerability and then has to be patched immediately. That's one of our critical vulnerability released recently, probably within this week. So with this different ATP agent, running on your machine. It scans your machines, checks with the known vulnerabilities in the market currently available and then scores it based on its weakness and then if there is any active threats for that one will be shown and apart from that you will also get some security recommendations not just for other applications but for different HTTP itself. So, Security recommendation is one thing that we will be usually looking at on a regular basis to make sure that if anything to be identified and you can look at this here if there is any specific data available for or any threat insights available so you can prioritize based on this to decide which one to patch first. And then also breach insights. So breach insights, threat insights and then if there is any other data available for example this one there is a recommendation insight about this. So these three points will help you to identify what's your first set of things that you need to fix and then you can work towards that to make your overall security a bit more stronger. Apart from that you have a software inventory which again is a single pane of window where you can get the entire software inventory of your computer and discovered vulnerabilities is another important thing where you can see Based on the CV scores, you will see the, the CV rating as I said, VLC media player is something with a 7.8 and I have few other ones which even have a higher score. So my priority will be looking at if it is if there is an active threat going on with this vulnerability and the risk score and with a combination of this, I can make sure that I patch those things. Apart from that, it also looks at missing KVs. My machine seems to be up to date, it doesn't have any KVs, but this way the combination of security recommendations, your discovered vulnerabilities and missing KVs, you can put up a plan and then start patching your machines. So unlike other devices which need to have a scheduled scan, different ATP relies on a continuous discovery and continuous scan along with uh, comparing with the current vulnerabilities available. It gives you a it's a constant update on making sure that your machine is well patched and managing the vulnerabilities very well so let's we will be looking at this session this demo on two phases one will be looking at the security recommendation as I mentioned earlier so I I would probably will look at on a weakness priority and then let's see Mozilla Firefox is my top priority and then Airfan view and then VLC player. So 
I'll be pausing this video here, updating these products, let it reflect on the portal and then we'll come back and see how it works. So we'll stop it here and then once I patch, we'll come back and, and let's test it out, the results and then how it changes. I'll also see the overview. As of now, there are no risk level. My risk level is no risk. Exposure level is a medium because I have some security recommendations and I have 11 discovered vulnerabilities on this machine. So as and when I reduce the vulnerabilities, my exposure level will be reduced and then that's how you manage. Now, few things on managing this thing is let's say you got, for example, let's look at Microsoft Mozilla Firefox. You can go from here to see a full recommendation and see what exactly to be done. It's saying update to a later version to mitigate eight non vulnerabilities and then it will show you the exposed devices, number of CVs addressed on this and then here is your remediation option. The currently the remediation option is basically opening a ticket in Intune which will you can just select a ticket and then enter due date. As of now it doesn't do any remediation and I hope soon with Intune we would find an option to remediate with an automatic patch update or a soft update through Intune. That's that's how that's what I hope. But for now, it just opens the tickets and then you have to use your own tools to patch your machine, update your machine, and then reflect the report later on after the scan. So it might take some time to reflect the latest updates. So we will look at this is how you will just assign a priority, select a due date, and then submit the request this request will be available on intune as a ticket and then from there somebody can work on the ticket take it and use their own patch management tools we use a combi personally we use a combination of a few different tools but you know you could use any tools like you could have a manage engine tool or pdq deploy or any any patch by event or anything then any kind of patch management tool to actually take care of it so different ATP takes care of the reporting part with a combination of uh, things to get you a granular and a structured way and help you identify what needs to be patched first so once it's patched we'll come back and then see how it works so i have completed the patch management side from the endpoint uh, in my case it was updating firefox was one of the top recommendations given because i deliberately installed an old version of firefox to show you this on the portal so let's look at your device inventory and then we'll go to my test machine we will look at the security recommendations and you should also see you know as i mentioned last time for example in my case the firefox is is gone now the patch is being done it's updated it is not showing this anymore I have few other uh, controls or few other recommendations for this machine. For example, apply some policies on for Google Chrome to disable allow running plugins that are outdated, update Irfan view, those kind of things. And then there are few uh, uh, few settings from uh, Defender point of view uh, to turn on tamper protection, potentially unwanted programs, uh, protection in block mode and such. So this is a good baseline to enhance your security posture to make sure that every aspect of this is being taken care of. Um, I would like to show one particular information here. Maybe we'll discuss this in future in a in a its own topic. But I would want to show you there is something called security.microsoft.com, which basically have a secure score posture report from all your uh, all your sections of Office 365 so it takes care of identity of devices users and such and um, I've been using this recently to see how it works and then it actually is a really good option so this is something as an admin you should be looking at on a regular basis apart from your security center security.microsoft.com where you will see your improvement actions and as I mentioned it usually checks 
based on the following criteria it looks at your identity data device apps and infrastructure and this is a good place to make sure that you have your security posture in check as i said it pretty much looks at every part of your office 365 infrastructure as you can see here there are some points for azure active directory there is something from microsoft defender security you would also see from cloud app security and um, you can see pretty much all here azure atp azure active directory exchange cloud app security so this is a, a great place to have a full view of all your security posture and then you know take necessary steps that which which works for your industry which works for your organization and then enhance your overall security posture one thing i've noticed with a defender atp security for example if i do anything for defender atp um let's look at something to address yeah so these kind of information for example you manage this will take you to the place what you need to be setting and then once you add that to your action plan it will look at the settings as and when the setting applies the remediation task will automatically complete and will show you how and where you stand so for example you are setting it for an organization of thousand computers from here on this remediation activity page you will see the progress bar so as and when the policy gets affected or policy get implemented on machines you will see the count increasing so that's a good way of tracking it so microsoft has taken care of the defender atp part in a remediation uh, process or uh, progress which is easy to track unlike the third party patches which is currently not integrated so for third party patches you can only open a ticket on intune as i mentioned before and then you have to manually patch it but for action points that is on defender atp you will see the remediation activity as a progress bar here and as and when you fix things it will be automatically updated and will be closed so this is how you can use the TVM or threat and vulnerability management of different ATP to enhance your security posture. Before closing, I would like to show one particular slide I've seen from a Microsoft Ignite event, which I think is is a very good um, organized operation plan, which is basically this. So your goal is to mature a vulnerability management program by discovering, prioritizing, and remediating risk. So you can put a 90 days plan on the first 30 days you can gain visibility which means you open the tvm dashboard evaluate your exposure and device secure score you can review the top security recommendation and then identify the key exposure areas within this 30 days you will have an idea on what needs to be done and then you start working on reducing the risk by exception defining exceptions where risk is accepted or compensated or you know engage with the team to implement that patches as i've shown you here for example firefox in my case and then resolve top risk by opening remediation requests you know so the combination of all this eventually you will reduce your risk and then you do a continuous monitoring which means you engage all stakeholder to define a set of kpi and then you work on your exposure score reduction and secure score increase as a as a top KPI, create monitoring dashboards and set a KPI to continuously review these things and then track your program maturity and execution across all teams. With the combination of Defender ATP and the Secure Score, you would be able to be on a better position to understand your overall vulnerability management in your organization and then increase your security posture. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, we'll soon come back with another section either on different ATP or anything else on office 365 thanks again stay safe bye